short way, Phil, since the, no music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. No, I'm not going to do that either. Really? Mm -hmm. Got it. We're ready. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> um, just so you're not surprised, there's no music, there's no sermon. Okay. Let us begin with the opening sentences. As a pregnant woman for the birth of her child, as the dark night for the light of a new day, as Mary and Joseph did. We await the coming of our God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. God of mercy, God of mercy we have we sinned against you and our ancestors. We have sinned in what we have done and in what we have found. We are truly sorry. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, forgive us the all that passed and raise us to new Amen. Almighty God, who pardons all who truly repent, forgive your sins, strengthen you with, by the Holy Spirit, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us rejoice in the rock of our salvation. We sing to you, O God, and bless your name. We proclaim your salvation from day to day. We proclaim your glory to the nations. We are praise to the end of the earth. Today's psalm is Psalm 89, verses 1 to 4 and 19 to 26. We will re read it responsively to the whole verse. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set the crown upon a warrior and have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, I have million my hand will hold him fast, and my arm will make him strong. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. Shall be with him and he shall be my 
I shall make his dominion extend from the great sea to the river. He was saying to the heathen, you are my father, my God, the God, and the God of my salvation. And together, glory to the Father, father and to the Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning is, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The first reading for today, the fourth Sunday of Advent, is taken from the book of the prophet Samuel, second book of Samuel. When the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to his prophet, Nathan, see now, I'm living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But at that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day. But I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle. Wherever I have moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word to with any of the tribal leaders of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to be a prince over my people Israel. And I have been with you, whenever you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from, from before you, and I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them so that they may live in their own place and be disturbed by no one and be disturbed no more. And evildoers shall afflict them no more as formerly from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. Here with the Spirit is saying to his people, to God's Thank people, thanks, thanks be to people. God. The Song of Zechariah, we will read it responsibly by the half verse. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God. You have come to your people in Sethemphry. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old. You shall save your servant David. From the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our fathers. <laughs> this was the oath you swore to our father Abraham. <laughs> Free to worship you without fear. <laughs> and you, child, shall be called. <laughs> to give God's people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our God God from on high shall break upon us The epistle for this day is taken from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. 
Now to God, who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed, and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to the Lord. Canticle 15, the song of Mary the Magnificat. Luke 1, 46 to 55. We'll read it together in unison. My soul oh, proclaims, proclaims the, the greatness of the Lord. Lord. My, my spirit rejoices in God, God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy in his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who has said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord.
and together, please. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. He was born see, by the power of the Holy Spirit, men born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He had descended to the den. On the third day, he rose again in a coffinet. It is at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I would call the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen help us O god our savior Look upon your congregation. Declare your glory among the nations. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son Jesus Christ at his coming may find in us a mansion prepared for himself who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. God of the prophets, give your church courage to speak the truth and to tell of your love. God of the prophets, hear us and help us. God of the angels, give your church voice to sing your presence into the world. Give the world a freedom song and help us to speak peace throughout the earth. God of the angels, hear us and help us. God of Mary and Elizabeth, give your church grace to be pregnant with hope and to bring forth new life for a barren world. And for mothers, hear us and help us. God of Zechariah and Joseph, give your church dreams and visions and the courage to follow them. God of the harvest, hear us and help us. God of the shepherds, give your church humility and to all who sit in the darkness, alone and afraid, a light from heaven proclaiming peace. God of the shepherds, hear us and help us. God of the Magi, give your church gifts and the will to leave home to find you among the poor. God of the Magi, hear us and help us. God of the Holy Innocents, give your church power to stand against violence and to protect the powerless. God of all peoples, hear us and help us. God of all people, give us grace to pray for our own needs and for those of our others. God of all people, hear us and help us. God of all people, give us grace to pray for our own needs and for those of others. God of all people, hear us and help us. Let us pray for our own needs and for those of others. For Robert Rosenberg, who is recuperating from kidney transplant, Joy's sisters, Pam and Jean, 
Cherry Benya, Trudy Whittle, Janice Elaine, Phil Matthew Conrad, Winston Trudy, Mary, the following are family members of Joanne Dowds, Tim, Saul, and his mother-in-law, Ebi, Nancy, and Rob, Linda and Blair, who is scheduled to have a double mastectomy. You may add your own petitions at this time. For my brother, Monik. All those alone at this time of year, all those grieving also at this time of year. We pray for those who are traveling this week. Do we have anyone that's traveling? If you are, could you please come to the altar for a prayer? If you are on Zoom, please unmute and state your name. <coughs> And I am going to Maryland tomorrow morning. Okay. Anyone on Zoom? Okay, continue, please. Let us pray. pray o oh God, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, preserve those who travel, in particular all these gathered here and those who travel with them. Surround them with your love and care. Protect them from every danger and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And this person is traveling to Michigan. Hear us, Lord. We thank you, O God. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We pray for the committees of the month, which are lay readers, Eucharistic ministers, Eucharistic visitors, healing, and acolytes. We pray in this month of December, which is Universal Human Rights Month and Drunk and Drug Driving Awareness Month. Thank you for health, strength, and for all that is good and gracious for all good things that came from you. At this time, if there's anyone that celebrate, that's celebrating a birthday, either in the week that's passed or the week to come, please come forward for a blessing. If you are on Zoom, please unmute yourself and name. Mariska, you're being directed. <laughs> you can get another prayer. <laughs> my, uh, my, my nephew's girlfriend and their son, uh, Noah, who were at his birth like last week. Uh, okay. Those uh, nephews and son yep. and Kalinda. Ah, uh, yesterday. <laughs> and you? Man was the 19th, but I wasn't sure. Okay. And Enid's was the 19th. Okay. Anyone on Zoom? Watch over your children, O oh Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts, may your peace which passes all understanding abide all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Happy birthday. Do we have anyone celebrating anniversaries? An anniversary? If you are on Zoom, please unmute yourself. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For Earl Seeley, for Marina Patricia White, who died Wednesday morning and will be dearly missed in our hearts and among us. Let your loving kindness be upon them 
who put their trust in you. To God be given all praise and glory. All with Son and Holy Spirit, now, now and, and forever. forever. God, our sovereign, you are always coming into the world. Come to us now, soon and forever, and let us receive you as the child of holiness and the wind of change through whom we pray today. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Sorry about my hands. That's all right. Chronically cold. Chronically cold. Okay. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're doing okay. Peace be with you. <laughs> okay. Peace be with you. Okay. Happy Christmas to you. Peace be with you. Okay. Peace, Andrew. Good to see you. Okay. Okay. Peace be with you. Peace. <laughs> Peace be with you. Excuse me, everyone. I'm going to ask you all to get to your seats because you can talk with each other after church. Right now we'll have the offering. We have no music. So... Um, Pray silently on this fourth Sunday of Advent that is right on the crushing the border of Christmas. And I think what I'll do is, because we have no music, I'll go over the announcements. Um, there's no one really new except Incognito is the canon to the ordinary. Uh, is sitting over there in a blue shirt, shirt perfect for Advent. Um, so welcome, Bob, uh, Canon Wright, uh, to us. And Sunday school, we won't have Sunday school today, clearly, there, um, or December 31st. After that is the Epiphany pageant, no Sunday school. And Martin Luther King, no Sunday school. And if you want to talk,